started their relationship with uh, Walkinshaw, uh, Tom Walkinshaw Racing that is, in uh, 1993 and they uh, decided upon building a state car. One reason they believe is because of PR and the other one was because of the uh, aero advantages a, a state car would have had in a straight line. It put Volvo on the map, you know, people saw Volvo as a sporting, cool, trendy, performance brand instead of this sort of stoic, safe, boring, um, antique dealer's car, you know, it was a completely different image. I started off driving a Volvo uh, S40, which is a 1998 car, the year that Ricard Rydell won the championship which to me was quite a big deal. But whenever I mentioned to anybody about the fact I had a Volvo touring car, first question every time, is it the estate? A new championship started in 1992 that uh, got the attention of all the manufacturers from a company called Toka where the cars could only be 2 litre, 975 kilos and uh, could only rev to uh, 8,500 revs and have a, an 8.2 inch wide wheel uh, which basically meant everybody was on a level playing field and uh, manufacturers came in from all around the world. I think at one point the highest they had 10 manufacturers all vying for the, the championship. It was just like the Formula One of touring cars at that time in terms of money, technology, driving. Um, you know, we had 18 international drivers in the championship. It was like a world championship. It was incredible. Volvo was one of the first teams to get the engine right down low and right to the back of the bulkhead so as they could get the drive shaft in front of the engine and get the uh, centre of gravity in the right place to make the car handle as best as possible. When you're in, in the car, racing against it, you're in the zone, it's just another car. You didn't think particularly about it. Um, but it certainly, we all thought, you know, wheelbase, is it too long for a front wheel drive car? But it worked very well. I mean, I've been in the Renault Laguna in 94, signed for TWR Volvo for 95 drove the estate firstly over the winter and I mean compared to the Renault it was a, a much longer car the wheelbase so it wasn't quite as agile but the center of gravity was lower the engine the five cylinder engine was absolutely fantastic um, so I could see the potential in it but it, it when we then got the 850 saloon and obviously raced that in uh, in 95 to be honest it wasn't that different um, as we all know it's only a little bit of extra tin and glass the fundamentals, the cage, the suspension, everything else is exactly the same as the saloon. Now I know you can make a racing car out of anything, but a Volvo Estate, you know, it just took everybody by surprise, I think. You know, the enthusiasm the crowds have here for this car shows how much it was loved and what an impression it made.